If you're working with football data in Excel, you might feel you spend too much time just trying to get Excel to work. With these three powerful Excel techniques, we're going to save you time and stress. Let's get into it. I'm Chris Mortimer, and over the past five years or so, I've worked with the best football traders in the business to get the Excel analysis they need. In this video, I'm going to share three powerful techniques with you. Let's get into the first one. Are you using filters in your Excel analysis of football data? You wouldn't be the only one. So many people out there are using filters. And don't get me wrong, filters can be pretty cool, particularly when combined with formulae such as subtotal to get the sum of filtered rows. But the truth is, I never use filters in my analysis. That's because I have, and here comes technique number one, the D sum formula. The D sum formula. Are you using D sum? in your analysis. If not, you should be. DSUM gives us the power of filtering and subtotal without having to actually use filters. And we can set up the DSUM formula in the spreadsheet as we would set up any other formula, although we do need a little bit of preparation. We can specify the column headers we want to look at and then simply type in. Yes, we can type in the values we want to filter out. DSUM is going to give us the sum of those values. And look out for DSUM's mates, D count and D average. They're going to get the average and count uh, the filtered values, just like with the sum. The sum is so powerful. It's at the heart of almost all of the football analysis I do in Excel. You need to know it. There's a full tutorial in the video description. Exploring a data set and hunting for profitable systems can be fun. You know, once you've set up a little model, maybe using the sum putting those different values in, different teams, different odds brackets, whatever variables you want to look at. That can be fun, but it takes a really long time. You've probably experienced it yourself, how much time it takes to find a profitable system. So what if I told you Excel has an inbuilt facility to do this for you, not even using VBA. Excel has an inbuilt, inbuilt facility to do exactly this. What is it called? It's called a data table, a data table. And don't be put off by the kind of modest sounding name because as with lots of things in Excel, it's kind of misnamed data table. It doesn't have data in, it actually has outputs, outputs in. Why is that interesting? Because when we're looking for the profitability of a particular system, and that's what we're looking for. What's the output from this little model that I've built here? So data table allows us to specify the variable we want to look at, specify all of the values we want to look at, and to do that for one or two variables. So we can take this two-way data table, uh, all of the values from uh, one variable in the column, all of the values from another variable in a row. Excel is going to take all those combinations and test them for you, and you can see the data table in the download file here. It's so called data table, and it allows us to produce those heat map type analyses when combined with conditional formatting. Can you imagine the amount of time that this is going to save you if you've never used data table before? I've got a full tutorial for you in the video description. Basic numerical data analysis is an important skill for all professionals these days, but particularly for football traders because we are surrounded by numerical data. So how do you do it? How do you do a numerical data analysis? For example, if we wanted to analyze a set of odds, for example, all of the home win odds across a season, how would you go about doing that? And how would you do that now? Well, you might do some things that are kind of useful, maybe sorting, sorting the data, uh, filtering the data, maybe getting some maximum and minimum values. But to tell the truth, we're only really scratching the surface. To really tell the story of this data set, to understand it in depth, we need something more powerful. Here comes the next technique. How about the frequency formula? Have you ever heard of the frequency formula? I love the frequency formula. Here is the concept. We're going to take that continuous uh, numerical data set. We're going to create bins for it. Create these bins with a lower bound and an upper bound. For example, between 0 and 2, 2 and 4, 4 and 6, 6 and 8, and so on. 
If we can do that, Excel is going to take the data, take each value in the data and drop it into one of those bins. How cool is that? Excel will then tell us how many values are in each bin. So it's a great way to analyze a whole data set, but there's more. I love combining frequency with a column chart as I've done in the spreadsheet here. It's the best way to get a visualized visualization of the data, really tell us more about the distribution, allow us to get that deep understanding of the data set that we really need. So do not miss out on the frequency formula. I've got a full tutorial in the video description. Go and check it out. If you're serious about data analysis, you are gonna love the Excel VBA for football traders community. In this unique community, we've got the Excel VBA football traders training course. We've got other materials. You have access to me. And most importantly, you have access to the rest of the group. So these are like-minded individuals. You can go to them for support, inspiration, ideas, questions, whatever it might be. And the best news, the good news is the first five parts of the course, Excel VBA for football traders are absolutely free. So you can go to the link in the description, head over to the website and get stuck into those free learning materials. I'd love to see you over there.